हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज स्वीटी पंजानी दिस इज यूवीएम बेसिक सीरीज वेर वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेसिक यूवीएम कॉन्सेप्ट्स वी हैड गॉन थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स इन दिस यूवीएम बेसिक सीरीज इन केस यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू प्लीज गो थ्रू प्रीवियस लेक्चर स्पेशली द लेक्चर ऑन ड्राइवर बिकॉज it is important to understand driver then you need to go through the lecture on sequencer only after understanding sequencer and driver you should come here because this explains the connectivity between sequencer and driver let's get started as i said today's topic is sequencer and driver connection there are two methods of connecting sequencer and driver first is using the tlm port let's see how to connect the sequencer and driver using tlm port some points which you should remember is when you are connecting sequencer and driver using tlm port the transfer of request and response which happens between the sequences and the driver that is bidirectional if you see it's a bidirectional it means you can send the request the request will go from the sequencer to driver and the response it goes from driver to the sequencer actually all this data is coming from sequences sequencer is the mediator between the sequences and driver this also we had seen in the tutorial on sequencer that's why whatever transfer of request and response which happens between sequences and driver that is bidirectional why because you are sending request from uh, sequencer to driver and then you are also getting back the response that is why this using tlm port whatever you are doing communication it is bidirectional next important point is how they are connected how the driver and sequencer is connected driver has a tlm port name is uvm sequence item pull port and sequencer has an export the name is uvm sequence item pull export this uvm sequence item pull port of your driver is connected to uvm sequence item pull export of your sequencer in short tlm port of your driver is connected to the tlm export of your sequencer these port and export classes which you are using here they are parameterized with request and response they have two parameters request and response driver uses api and export to get request sequence item from sequences and return back the response sequence item there is an api in the export this is the export of your sequence item from the sequences and that using that you can get the request and then you can return back the response we understood the port of the driver is connected to the export of the sequencer now where does this happen this happens in the connect phase we had understood various uvm phases there is a complete tutorial on uvm phases which is uploaded in the same series which is uvm basic series uploaded on sweety speaks official youtube channel by sweety pinjani there we had seen the connect phases in which you connect the uvm components sequencer and driver are one of the uvm components we have to connect which we do in the connect phase and what is connected the driver port is connected to the sequencer export in the connect phase one thing you need to note is sequencer and driver connection is one to one one to one means one sequencer is connected to only one driver you cannot connect one sequencer to multiple drivers and vice versa you cannot connect multiple drivers to one sequencer and you cannot connect one sequencer to multiple drivers and you cannot connect one driver to multiple sequencer it is one on one one sequencer one driver 
multiple drivers cannot be connected to a sequencer and a sequencer cannot be connected to multiple drivers next way to achieve sequencer driver connection is through analysis port when you are using analysis port only the response is transferred between sequences and driver this response will go from driver to the sequencer and then to the sequences that is why it is unidirectional because only response is going request is not going that that is why even when you have analysis port tlm port is mandatory analysis port is optional because before sending response you need a request and that request comes only through the tlm port the analysis port is unidirectional response in this case the driver has uvm tlm analysis port and sequencer has uvm tlm analysis export this analysis port of your driver is connected to analysis export of your sequencer one probable usage of analysis port is when you want to notify other components that driver has sent the response if you remember in case of tlm port also you are sending response but there the other components are not getting notified if there is a requirement in your test bench to notify the other components then you can implement this analysis port sequencer driver connection otherwise it's optional it's not even required there are only specific applications like i told you this one to notify the other components when the driver returns a response this is one of the application when you can implement the analysis port now let us understand this with the help of diagram i have a driver the driver has uvm sequence item pull port it's a tlm port of the driver the handle of this tlm port is sequence item port this is the handle then i have a sequencer the sequencer has uvm sequence item pull export this is the tlm export of the sequencer the tlm port of your driver needs to be connected to the tlm export of your sequencer and the request from the sequencer will go to your driver this is the flow of the request sequence item which flows from the sequencer to the driver if you remember we had discussed the methods by which you can get the request from the sequencer it was get next item get we had seen these methods when we were learning sequencer then once you get the request the driver can send back the response this is the response sequence item which goes from the driver to the sequencer this is a mandatory connection tlm port of your driver has to be connected to the tlm export of your sequencer this connection has to happen and then there is an optional connection you have uvm tlm analysis port inside your driver whose handle is response port and then you have uvm tlm analysis export inside your sequencer the response sequence item can also go from your tlm analysis port to tlm analysis export which means from driver to the sequencer and as we said this is optional only in specific applications like to notify the other components other components in your test bench it can be your scoreboard your checker your coverage collector whoever is analyzing the output you can send them that your response has been returned from the driver if you want to notify them then you can implement this analysis port connection between the driver and sequencer where the tlm analysis port of your driver is connected to tlm analysis export of your sequencer 
I hope with the help of diagrammatic representation, it is now very clear how the flow of request and response happens between driver and sequencer by two methods, either by TLM port or by analysis port. Now, let's understand with the help of code if I want to establish the connection using TLM port. I'll do it in connect case. This I already clarified the connection between the sequencer and driver is established in the connect phase. Here you have an active agent. We are going to cover UVM agent in detail for now. Just remember agent can be of two types. It can be active or passive. If you want to drive the DUT, you want to have the driver, the agent is active. In this case, I am establishing sequencer driver connection. That is why I want my agent to be active. I have a configuration from which I am checking the status of my agent. If the this active dot active is the, this is what tells me whether the agent is active or passive. If it is set to UVM active, it means my agent is active. Only if the agent is active, the driver is present, only then I can have the sequencer driver connection. So if my agent is active, I'm going to establish the TLM port connection. What I told you, the sequence item port of your driver is going to be connected to the sequence item export of your sequencer using this connect phase. This is the name of my driver, Sweetie TLM driver. It has the sequence item port. I showed you the handle in the diagram. If you remember, the name of the handle was sequence item port. And the name of handle in sequencer is sequence item export. So this sequence item port of your driver is connected to sequence item export of your sequencer. And then you are just assigning the virtual interface from your config to the driver. That's it. End of the if where we check whether the agent was active. This is end of if and this is end of your connect phase. I am just showing connect phase because this sequencer driver connection happens in the connect phase. This was one way. The other way was using the analysis port. Again, this happens in the connect phase only. These are the same statements which we saw earlier. I have told you even if you are using connection with the help of analysis port, TLM port connection is mandatory. Why? Because request flow only in TLM port. In analysis port, only response can flow. That is why this is the same as we saw. We are connecting the sequence item port of the driver to the sequence item export of the sequencer. And then the analysis port is optional. Here, if you remember, I had told you the handle inside the driver was response port and the handle inside the sequencer is response export. The response port of your driver is connected to the response export of your sequencer. This is the syntax. The name of my driver is Sweetie Analysis Driver, which has a handle response port. And using the connect phase, I am connecting it to the Sweetie Analysis Sequencer, which is my sequencer. And it has a handle response export. Then the virtual interface assignment happens and this is the end of if and end of connect phase. Let's summarize what we learned. First, we learned that the sequencer driver connection happens in the connect phase of the agent. Agent is a component which instantiates both sequencer and driver. Since to establish the connection between sequencer and driver, you need instances of both sequencer and driver. That is why the sequencer driver connection happens in the connect phase of the agent. 
then we saw two methods one was using tlm port which is mandatory it's not optional this connection you have to make it is bidirectional there is flow of request as well as response request goes from sequencer to driver response goes from driver to sequencer driver has a tlm port and sequencer has the tlm export both these are connected using the connect phase using analysis port this is optional it is unidirectional only response will flow and the analysis port inside your driver is connected to analysis export inside your sequencer i hope with this explanation especially the diagram and the code which i showed you how the sequencer and driver are connected it is it should be very clear in your mind because i am trying to create these lectures especially in uvm in as easy language as possible with as easy codes as possible in case you still did not understand i request you to please go through these lectures a few of a couple of times and before that please go through the previous lectures especially the lectures on sequencer and driver to understand this lecture you need to understand sequencer and driver please go through and understand it and practice the syntax which i showed you and then i'll show you other uvm concepts again with the help of diagrams flow charts and easy language in case you want to stay connected and learn all these concepts in easy language you can subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel by sweetie panjani i sweetie panjani will see you in the upcoming tutorials thank you